An incident report reveals new information about an alleged racial incident involving multiple assaults at a Springfield Elementary School. And Dayton's Black Lives Matter organization is responding to what happened. Two News reporter Allison Gens is following up on the investigation at Kenwood Elementary. The incident report we received shows multiple suspects and multiple victims for events that happened on the playground here at Kenwood Elementary School. Now, Black Lives Matter Dayton released a statement Tuesday saying that they do not condone this behavior. According to the incident report from Springfield Police, on February 10th, a group of black students took a group of white students to part of the playground during recess and forced them to say Black Lives Matter. The report says the students who refused were chased down and escorted, dragged, or carried back to the spot. And the report says one student was punched in the face. Black Lives Matter Dayton issued a statement in response Tuesday afternoon, saying in part, quote, the Black Lives Matter Dayton group is disheartened to learn of the incident at Kenwood Elementary School in Springfield, Ohio, involving black students alleged negative engagement toward white students while using the Black Lives Matter phrase. During a news conference Tuesday, Springfield Police Chief Allison Elliott says this remains an active investigation and her department is pursuing charges. Remembering these are young children, elementary school children, who were involved and we are still working through all of those details. Leaders of Black Lives Matter Dayton said in their statement that they hope this incident will be a learning moment for students, saying, quote, the Black Lives Matter Dayton group supports ongoing student diversity and inclusion that fosters proper relations in educational settings that allow for an understanding of cultural differences while acknowledging the issues at hand, cultural tensions. I reached out to the school district for an interview and they declined to comment, but the district did release a statement Monday stating that they are working with Springfield police and will issue their own district discipline. In Springfield, Allison Gens, 2 News.